So welcome to the lunch table, Mikal. This is a kind of typical Japanese uh, coarse um, food. Um, for lunch, maybe. This is an appetizer plate. Mm -hmm. And we have soup, usually. Mm -hmm. And main dish, uh, which is uh, hamu today. And also, we have sushi plate, of course. Of course. Japanese cuisine, we call it washoku. And washoku is uh, registered as um, intangible cultural heritage in UNESCO 2013. Uh, there are several you know, uh, uh, reasons for washoku to be registered as intangible cultural heritage. One thing is we use diversified ingredients, fresh from nature. And secondly, uh, we attach great importance to the balance so the diet uh, will be healthy. And thirdly, we try to show kind of, you know, changing seasons by food. So we usually use a lot of seasonal ingredients, seasonal food. That's why um, Japan was, uh, I mean, the washoku was registered as uh, intangible cultural heritage in UNESCO. And there will always be fish? Yes, we eat more fish than meat. I think that's a uh, you know, um, healthy part of Japanese cuisine. And uh, by using uh, this kind of food in this way, we can only, we can not only nurture our body, but also we can nurture our mind and spirit with cultural backgrounds. That's the essence of Japanese food washok. Now we can enjoy. Ambassador, before we dive into dessert, I just want to say thank you so much for having us today at the official residence and for showing us and having us experience a taste of Japan. And now all that's left is to enjoy the matcha cake. I hope you enjoy the food and I want to welcome you back again here very soon. Thank you so much.